Yo guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to our Torino career mode here on FIFA 22. I hope everyone is having a lovely day. This is episode 16 and today we have two big games. We start away at Inter and then we're at home to our rivals Juventus. They are the only sides above us. They are both four points ahead. So these are the two biggest games of the season so far. And it's a chance for us to show that we deserve to be where we are. So we go to the San Siro to start today's episode. Let's see if we can pick up a massive three points against Inter. Brecolo on the ball, now Gutierrez, Belotti, Mandragera, right hand side is Singo, now Piazza and his fantastic play, can we make it 1-0, yes we can, we've opened the scoring in this massive game against Inter after just 16 minutes and guess who, Piazza, of course. Brilliant finish from the main man, who now has 14 Serie A goals this season. Correa on the ball, now Sanchez, and it's a brilliant... Okay, apparently not. <laughs> I thought that was a brilliant tackle. But it's a free kick to Inter. Sanchez lays it off to Hazard. Now Sanchez and the cross gets blocked and it's a corner kick to the home side after 21 minutes. They're putting the pressure on, looking to draw level, but Einar nicks it away from Sanchez. Can we break away from their corner and double our lead? It's a fantastic run from Einar. 23 minutes gone, Sanchez can't keep up. Can we pick out a teammate in the box? Gets deflected and the attack is over. Oh, man, I should have done better. There should have been at least an opportunity at goal there. That was a waste. And here they come on the attack. It's very good play down that left-hand side. Martinez puts in a cross. Oh, incredible save from Milinkovic Savic to keep us in the lead. Oh, my God. How has he saved that? Brilliant reactions. Correa should be scoring. That's a glorious chance. And Sanchez does get past me. Brilliant play from the forward. Sanchez is still going, but we do nick it away from him. And we keep it. Attack over. Remains 1-0 to Reno. Martinez on the ball. Now Brozovic. Forward to Correa. Vidal. Correa. Now Lima. And this is decent play from Inter. They're on the move forward looking to draw level. And they do keep it. Brozovic, Vidal, now Martinez, brilliant block, and they win it back straight away, Lima with the effort, brilliant save, and he gets up and gathers, gathers the ball, oh my god, Inter have been so good in this match, and I seriously can't believe they haven't scored yet, Brozovic on the ball for Inter, just a few seconds to go of the half. Are they about to draw level? Oh, brilliant save. Once again from Milinkovic Savic. And it's a corner kick top left. They've had six corners. And it's a decent delivery. And Einar does well. Can he clear it further away? Yes, he can. But the attack isn't over. This is going to be the last action of the half. Correa. Sanchez! Milinkovic Savic again denying Inter a goal to keep us in the lead. Sanchez on the ball. Very good tackle, but they are going to keep it. Come on, ref. Blow that half time whistle. Correa on the ball. Vidal slices it wide. 
And there's the half-time whistle at the break in this massive game against Inter. We lead by one goal to nil, thanks to the main man, Piazza. Lima on the ball, Vidal. Now Correa, and it's a brilliant tackle, but they do keep it. Dzeko tries to find a teammate, but Moskopoulos does well to break up the attack. And we have a possession. Mandragera, I see Moskopoulos making a forward run, and that is a superb pass. Lovely first touch from the youngster. Just over 10 minutes to go. Can he make it 2-0? It's a decent effort, but Handanovic does well to keep the score at 1-0. And Inter are still in this match. Brozovic on the ball for Inter. Now Dzeko. Up to this right-hand side in Perisic, a cross in, and it's a very good finish from Correa, and it's all square at 1-1, with just over five minutes to go of the 90. But they do deserve the equalising goal. Because overall they have been the better team. So I'll be very happy if we get a point here to be honest. It's finished all square at the San Siro and I'm very happy about that. Because Inter were the much better team and should have won. So yeah, very pleased to come away with something and not have Inter move further away from us. Full-time result here, Inter 1, Torino 1. Brecolo on the ball, now Gutierrez. Four to Bellotti, McKenney intercepts, Zachary up, Dybala, Morata, Dybala again, and he's done well to find Morata, Jorginho, Morata, this is decent play from Juventus, McKenney, Morata, McKenney, brilliant tackle, can we clear it away? We can't, but thankfully the keeper gathers, and it's still goalless, wow. I thought that was going to be 1-0 Juventus very early on. But we survived the attack and Einar gets taken out. And it's the first yellow card of the game. The Locatelli. Alright, can we create the first chance in this match with this attack? Belotti in possession. Right hand side is Singo. Can he open the scoring? Oh, what a save from Chesney. Wow, 10 minutes gone, we get the first corner of the game, fantastic delivery, Bonucci does header it away, only as far as Gutierrez, Piazza, now Zima, Gutierrez, and the attack is over, but 12 minutes gone, it's been a decent start to the game from both teams, Einar on the ball, now Brecolo, Belotti, Lukic, now Piazza, Right-hand side is Singo in lows of space. 22 minutes gone. Can he open the scoring? No, he can't. Brilliant save. It's not a great clearance. And the attack isn't over. Lukic. Poor effort. Simple save for Chesney. Oh, that's a dangerous throw. And they do keep it. Sterling done well there to find a teammate under pressure. 25 minutes gone and it remains goalless at the moment. We're holding our own. We've been pretty decent. I'm very pleased with this performance so far. But here Juventus come on the attack looking to open the scoring. Dybala! Sorry, it's Morata. And it's a very good save from Milinkovic Savic. And Juventus get their first corner of the game. And it's a deep one from Jorginho. And the header goes over from the defender. And it's still nil-nil. Juventus are currently six points ahead of us. So I don't really want to be dropping points here. I think we need to win. 
Lukic on the ball, now Brekolo, Belotti, Gutierrez and his fantastic play to his right hand side is Piazza and it gets cleared away. Oh, maybe that was one pass too many. It was lovely football, look at this. Absolutely incredible, I should have just shot with Gutierrez. But I thought playing a through ball to Piazza, he would have easily run onto it and it would have been an open goal. But let's be honest, it wasn't the best of passes, was it, for a through ball? It should have gone towards kind of the corner of the six yard box. Look, but it really didn't. Oh, that's frustrating. That should have been a goal. Rodriguez on the ball, now Gutierrez, and it's a very good tackle from McKenney. Now Zacharia, Jorginho, Zacharia again, and he plays it forward, and it's a fantastic pass. Locatelli, Morata, and he tries to find a teammate. Why didn't he shoot? That was like me earlier. One pass too many. Aynor on the ball, now Gutierrez. Right hand side is Singo and that is a fantastic pass from the midfielder. Singo with the cross, brilliant delivery, fantastic header from Piazza. And we lead in this massive game against Juventus. Oh, what a goal that was. The pass from Gutierrez out to Singo and then the cross. And look at this header from Piazza. Too much power on it for Chesney. Couldn't react in time. Superb goal. Keen on the ball for Juventus. Brilliant tackle from Zanabria. But they do keep it. Zakaria. Now McKenney. Right hand side is Sterling. And he's done well to keep it. Zakaria. McKenney. Now Keen. Ibala, this is very good play from Juventus and it's going to be a free kick in a very good position. 20 minutes to go in this match. Are Juventus about to draw level? 27 yards out, first man goes over it. Jorginho lays it off to Dybala, brilliant save to keep us in the lead. And it's a corner kick, the attack is not over yet they play it short to Guerrero and he gets past me and finds a teammate Jorginho Locatelli Dybala now Guerrero Dybala again are they about to make the score 1-1 Jorginho Dybala again Milinkovic Savic denying Juventus a goal and the pressure is still on it's another corner And it's going to be a free kick. I just can't get the ball away at the minute. Just over 15 minutes to go. And they are looking to draw level. Fantastic delivery single with a very good defensive header. And we have possession. The attack is over. And it remains 1-0 to Torino. Padrino on the ball. Now Zanabria. And Bonucci intercepts. Oh my god, I really, really hope we can hold on to this lead until the full-time whistle goes. This would be a huge three points. Rodriguez on the ball, now Moscopolis. Padrino forward to Brecolo and his fantastic play. Just under 10 minutes to go. Can we make the score 2-0 and wrap up the three points? Piazza, Lukic, Padrino, Lukic again, right hand side is Singo, a cross in, fantastic delivery and the effort isn't great, but we do keep possession, it's gone straight back to Singo, Padrino, Moscopolis, brilliant block, and I think the attack might be over, and it is, oh, Dybal has kept it in, that's incredible, and here they come on the attack. And he has found a teammate in Jorginho, Campos, Jorginho, Zakaria, now Locatelli, goes wide. 
And that could be the last chance for Juventus. Oh, it's a terrible finish. Comfortably wide. And it's still 2-1. Sorry, 2-1. 1-0 one to Torino with just a few minutes to go. The full-time whistle has gone and it's a massive three points against our rivals. It could have gone either way, to be honest. It was a pretty even match, but thankfully, we've come out on top. So we've got four points from six in two big games today. So overall, I'm very, very pleased with today's episode. Full-time result here, Torino 1, Juventus 0. So after getting four big points in today's episode, we are now three points off the top, which is occupied by Juventus. Inter in second and Milan in third. Atalanta on 52 points, slowly slipping away from the race at the top. And Roma complete the top six on 47 points. Very, very good episode today. In the next one, we start away at Lazio. And then we're at home to Sampdoria. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.